Hey everybody, Rubber Biscuit here again, back to playing Airport CEO. So you can see, since our last video, I have definitely added some more stalls. So we're totally full in the stalls. We've got plenty of planes randomly just coming in, landing, taking off. Looks like we could even repair the runway. It's getting some scuffs. Let's see our condition back up to 100. But we have all of our stalls here. We're slowly just accruing money. We can actually take a bigger dive into this. So you can actually see our parking fees. I'm making plenty of money. About, I'd say upper 4,000s, nearly 5,000s. Runway usage fees, making plenty of money. And aviation fuel sales, again, making plenty of money. And really, our only expenses are operating costs and contract work. So not too bad. And of course, vehicle operation. And we have had to shell out quite a bit I wonder if it's on here. Well, it's probably gone, but we did have to pay quite a good bit the other day as the fuel truck came back in to load us back up in our main tank. But regardless, we're slowly but surely making plenty of money. Moving very fast. We're only on day four. But what I am trying to do is save up some money because I'm hoping to build just a nice little square. Well, I don't want to spend all of our money necessarily, but I want to build us a nice little building here. Not because we're going to build a small terminal, but because we will go ahead and hire some administrative staff. Go ahead and just make sure administrators, and that way we can get some research going. So that is exactly the plan for this video, and we will see how that goes. So I think we can definitely get, really we just need something just like this. Only 63,000. Oh, eventually I'd like to think we're going to fill up this whole space as a big terminal connect to our stalls the whole nine yards so we got just a couple of workers getting to work here we will go ahead and we will add a door and really we just need kind of a medium door so we'll just kind of pop that down right there really no rhyme or reason to this little building other than it's going to be a big staff building and let's see our zones We want our staff room. Giant staff room, but might as well. That's all we're going to need for the moment. And we are really just going to throw down some office desks. That's all we're going to need to put down. So we'll just keep them along this wall over this way. So let's go with one, two, three, four. And I do like to have the space in them. Or at least space it out a little bit. No real rhyme or reason for that. I'm sure you could squeeze them all in there, but I think that's fine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we still have plenty of money and still pl making plenty of money. So let's get he's good. And here we can see their skill level and what they claim for a salary. It's so like if we we're going to get one of these three, they're all relatively the same skill level, but this one... Sandra wants $17 an hour, whereas James here only is asking for 13 So here's what I think we're going to do. I like to kind of mix and match some really good ones and some moderate ones. We'll actually go ahead and move our filter, so we are definitely going to hire him. Don't necessarily need her. I thought we filtered her out. Okay, there we go. Only 14 He must be really good. 36, 28, we'll get 28. And we'll get them as well. So now we can jump into our R&D projects and we will go ahead and go for that commercial license. So really, these don't cost anything except your time. And here we will assign our administrators to the research. And all the while, we're still making plenty of money. Now obviously this isn't gonna be our staff building forever. We Surely, slowly but surely will expand out here. But I do like to think we could start off very, very small. I have a check-in desk, one little security room here, or one little security zone, and maybe we could connect one or two of these. And we'll get some pa passengers flowing through here. And let's see.
But now it's just the waiting game, really, for our R and D. Alignments at the airport. Interesting. Guess they just haven't arrived yet, or don't want to be here. <laughs> So maybe we didn't even need to build this. Maybe we just needed to hire administrators. Very interesting. Now that is something to keep in mind. Because that would have saved us a whole lot of cash right here if we hadn't have done this. But I do think we'll drive the road out. We'll include a bus station, some parking, of course. If only we could get a bunch more money. Now, I do understand we could accept some loans, get us a whole bunch of cash, but I just don't, I don't see it being worth it, especially since we're making so much. We could, we could play a little bit of the waiting game, and now we can see we've unlocked more of our desks, information desks, flight information displays, our check-in desks, and of course, the boarding desk once you're getting on. And everyone's favorite part about the airport, the security zone, the checkpoints, and the exits. I just want to see. Okay, here's our hangar. So I know we do need to throw down a hangar, actually. So I'm trying to think where the best place might be. Oh, maybe right here off outside of the fence. Can we do it over here as well? We could. So now it's just a matter. I think we put it over on this far side. We will put it... I guess we'll go ahead and put it just as close as we can to the taxiway. Or actually, let's not. Let's bring it just right here. That's probably the, the best place for us to put it. That way, in case there's an emergency... Or, you know, a flight needs repairs, we will go ahead and have a hangar on site where we can do all of those repairs. And here we go. We'll send our the few contractor boys we have left out here to take care of it. And now then, let's go. I definitely want to do this right. So I say we go ahead and build our road out. Don't want to spend too much money, but we do need it to come out. So we'll go ahead and we'll just spend 6000 totally fine easy money for us so we'll just have it any that way if there is an emergency or something does happen we'll be able to get it taken care of we'll go ahead and repair the runway now that we're building out our road Let's just see if we were going to build our foundation out. Whew. That's 70000 just like that. I don't know if we need to spend that, that kind of money just yet. I'm almost wondering if we could do our check-in and security and everything over here. We could build a sidewalk over here, and this could be where they board at first. But that also sounds quite expensive, although it would look pretty cool. I will give you that. It would look pretty cool. So let's see here. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. And I know our administrators are clearly just working from home, it looks like. But we'll go ahead and get night flights unlocked as well. But I guess they can work from home. We don't have a, let's see, a bus stop. Or the parking. Yep, the car stops. So people can drop, you know, drop off pickups, taxis, and of course, who doesn't love a parking lot? Parking lot is actually a great way to make some money. <laughs> oh, mayday, mayday. Oh, let's pause the game. Journal of Aviation Flight. Wait, small class experiencing a bird strike emergency and requires fire truck assistance. If using or correctly handling this emergency landing will incur a harsh fine and security rating. Boy, I definitely don't want to refuse, but we also do not have a fire truck. And it doesn't look like we have the ability to hire a fire truck. Quite an issue. I wish we could stop this and look to see if we could. Because unfortunately, without a fire truck, this is just 
companies are failing to correctly handle this emergency we don't care it's harsh we don't want that and we do, unfortunately don't have a fire truck whoops <laughs> well definitely uh, not something we want to have happen right there so maybe we should have a fire truck before we uh, try to take part in anything huh just spending a bunch of money find oh uh, find about 12,000 there not not exactly ideal but we're still making plenty of money still still up get rid of all of those there's no bus stops passengers and staff have no way to get to and from the airport yes yes we know I think they like working from home though who wouldn't like working from home I mean they're clearly still working right <laughs> now then let's see I like to make it, let's make it just a little more spacious We'll do just a little more spacious. We might hope. I don't know if they'll tear down this wall or not, since we've had included a new foundation here. So we will certainly find out. And if we were going to have a bus stop, looks like it will connect, or we won't have to build too much sidewalk. So this might still be good for our staff. So we can actually oops, we can hopefully resize. I don't know if I want to delete the room. I just want to get rid of the staff room. I wonder if I could rezone. We'll delete the staff room. Okay, there we go. Now then, our staff room. Just like that. Especially for a small airport, that is perfectly fine. I guess we could have made the zone just a bit bigger, but that said, we can add, I say we put a door right here, and we will include a door, um, I reckon on this end as well, just so we're connected here. Now I do like the idea, well actually I don't, I don't like that idea. Hmm, I was going to say it'd be great if we had a you know, you check in right here, get through security, and then go to one side for actual takeoff and boarding. But then I feel like that is just a waste of our space, especially since we are quite limited on that space. So we will go ahead and we will destroy these walls. Make this nice and big and open. So maybe they can come in right here, check in. Or no, then that's too close over this way. I really like having it on this side. And they have space to move in and out. So let's... Let's see how we can slowly but surely maybe come up with something here. We need help. Passengers must visit the check-in desk to receive a boarding pass for the flight. Okay. So when patients or <laughs> patients, when they arrive, they'll come right in, and our check-in desks will be right here. And we will go ahead and start. We will have two of them. I think that's fair. Up, oh, plenty of space, so it's not too terribly crowded. And then, well, I almost wonder if we should we should move them. Let's pause it real quick, like. Get rid of that. So I take that back. Our check-in desks are actually going to be along this wall. So here's what I'm thinking. We have the travelers come in through doors down this way. They can come right in. Come over to this wall where they will check in. Get their boarding pass. And then immediately right here we can have security. I guess we could have kept this wall here. Security check in. They can come up. We'll have potential boarding right all along here and uh, maybe our exit door will be over this way just to keep the flow of people moving so things don't get too terribly hectic so that is the plan let's see if we can execute so we'll have our boarding pass check-in desk is there we'll have our security zone now I say we start it right Right along in here, or maybe we'll go right here. One more up. 
So our security zone will come all the way down. And I say even right through here. I say we go ahead and build this wall back. Just to keep the zone separate. And we need our security, the fun stuff now. So these are our entryways for folks to actually come through. So I say we go ahead, we'll just start off with the one. And now then of course we'll build some more walls just to make sure everybody always goes through our security. It is a small airport after all, let's not get too crazy. And we can let, we can even get rid of the fence At least sort of, for the moment. We're just going to have to move the fence gate. A little more cost effective for us. So we have that. We have our little staff room here, which let's make this just a little bit bigger. I guess it doesn't want us to. Let's just delete it. Let's try this one more time. Our staff room. There is that. And now then, so we have our check-ins security we come up here where we will have our boarding desks so i'm trying to see if we should maybe just have one right here we could even have so that one will connect here quite obvious and then our second one maybe we'll just go ahead and have right here I think that works out just fine. And maybe we'll put it we'll put it this way. That would be that'll be interesting. So we will go ahead. So what we did there, we just connected this stand here with this, excuse me, the boarding desk with this flight stand. So the flights that come in here, everybody boarding will come through this check-in stand. And with that said, we will go ahead and of course, we need to add a door, which I like to use the large doors. And then same thing here, we will use the large doors there. And then down here, we will do the pretty much the same thing. We will add a door back here, a door right here. And I wonder if we should keep this clear and put our stops over this way, which I think that is exactly what we're going to do, at least to start. We shall see how it, if this works out for us. So this way the bus does have access to turn in and to turn out. We'll put that. I almost wonder if we should bring it up just to clear it out from that turn there. Put that there. The bus stop. And we will add one car stop, or maybe we'll go two. Actually, let's see how our crosswalk looks. Okay, so they can come straight across here, which is great. And then same thing with our car stop. We'll just go ahead and throw it down right here beside the buses. And again, another crosswalk just in case. Now then, that the people can now cross safely, we need to find sidewalk oh there we go so now that the people can't come across they can at least come right down the sidewalk and let's even connect it to this door down here so passengers can get dropped off right here just like our administrators down here and they should be able to cross over and come right in to the airport and let's see here So obviously this is our staff room. Oh, here, let's make just make sure. Well, I think it all I think it all works out. So these guys hopefully now should be able to cross. I don't know why they're not. It does make me a bit nervous. Well, it looks like they are crossing over now. Oh, maybe it's because they don't have anything to do since they finished that. Now let's see. Emergency response units. 
Security patrols, large weather state bird pranks. So maybe this is what we need to have. Of course, right on time. Experience a wheel puncture emergency and requires unspecified assistance. I say, I think we could maybe take this one. If they just have a wheel puncture. We'll get everybody working. We will accept this flight and we shall see what happens. Can I find a staff room? Maybe it's because, well, we have more important things. Oh, we definitely need to repair the runway. Let's see, what is this flight going to need? Hopefully, they just need the hangar. So, thankfully, we do have a hangar built. Let's see, just go into the hangar, go into the hangar, go into the hangar. Hopefully, we can handle this emergency correctly. And thank goodness, it looks like they're going to go in the hangar for us. Maybe. For a second there, I didn't think it was going to go in. <laughs> we were going to fail another emergency test. So I guess we'll uh, see what happens with that. Now then, more importantly, they said they didn't have access to the staff room. Did I accidentally build windows? Did I build doors? What do they? Staff zone, staff room. I guess we should maybe hire. I bet if we hire a security person, that'll allow them to get through. I'm almost positive that's what's going to happen here. So let's hire a security officer. And we do want this person to be pretty good. So we're going to pay top dollar, actually. Well, let's get you, Kate. Let's get Kate. Pay her what she's worth. And hopefully, she will man our security checkpoint, which will allow our staff to come through and access the staff room. So let's go ahead and speed things up. As we're still waiting on an update for this plane to see what happened. And I wonder if our security person is going to come on over. And hopefully these guys will now understand that they can now get where they need to go. So here they come, crossing over. Oh, it seems to be going this way. I take it back. They are not going where they want to go. So they can clearly make it over. But I don't know why they don't want to enter the staff room. Let's maybe delete the room. Let's try this one more time. Staff room. I wonder why they don't want to go in there. Now that is interesting. Maybe we should just, let's try this. What if we deleted these walls and we'll just add a staff door right here. We'll add a staff door and then we'll put in a wall just right there. Hopefully that now will give them access. Or in fact, we could even check the walkable area. So they can definitely make it across. Come up. They could have gone through security. Or maybe I should have put in a security exit. Maybe that's all they were missing. They just didn't want to leave. Because there was no way to leave once you entered the secure zone. Man, talk about a rookie mistake. So I'm thinking we put one of our secure... Well, don't necessarily need it right, right there. Now then, let's see if we can zone. So we can hold control to remove. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We don't need any of this to be a secure zone. Maybe we do. Let's see how we're going to do this. Maybe we do it just like this. So we will add... One, yeah, we'll just put him. Or should we bring it down here so that people can walk all the way around instead of maybe boarding up around this door? Either way, we'll just go ahead and include it right there. And again, we'll, do, we'll add our walls. I am almost positive the exit was the issue, not, and not adding this door. And let's see, we'll go ahead and connect this stand to there. 
That way, okay, both connected. We have our connections. Oh, let's see. The equipment failure are deeming the aircraft as not airworthy. The flight has been canceled and the aircraft remain. Okay. Interesting. So he definitely needs a hangar. So hopefully this one will finish up soon. We can get this general aviation flight out of here. Oh dear. Status zero of two steps resolved. Oh dear. Well, unfortunately, it may never be resolved. <laughs> Unless we hurry up with this. Maybe we need to hire another ad administrator. 28th. Oh, wait. Here we go. We'll hire you. And we will take you as well, Mitchell. Now. Now we have, we have two more. I thought we hired two more. Who did we who did we just hire? Two more. Oh, security officers. Whoops. Well, I apologize for that. Kate, we no longer need you. Anyway, since we have the two, let's go back. Need administrators. Wow. This looks better be worth their money. We'll hire twenty two. Okay. Back to it. There we go. Now we have six working on that for us. Security officers will show up hopefully now. Our administrators got in the room. So we should have a total of six administrators. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got all of that taken care of. Now then. Okay, so we have all of our administrators. We nearly have everything set up. I just really wish we could get oh, our emergency response units figured out so that we could get some of these aircraft moving. <laughs> now then, that said, we can definitely get some commercial flights going and get some passengers in here, which is truly the exciting part of this game. And it will allow us to really start raking in some money. As we can see, we're already up to 137000 Now, oh, let's unpause the game. We need to hire two check-in people and two boarding folks. Oh. I don't know why. This one says, is deactivated and will not operate. Well, why is this one operating? I wish I knew. Oh, there we go. Wheel puncture emergency has been resolved with the following results. 100% handled. Couldn't really, all right, well, there we go. We love that. No fines coming to us this time. We love that. Got an A. Not been fine and security rating improved. Hey, we love that. Oh, we were not fined. Great. <laughs> Too funny. We'll get slapped with fines. Government. Huh. Well, we definitely want to keep our security rating high. I just, I don't understand why our desk two does not operate. Okay, well, let's prepare ourselves. So we do need to include some sidewalk, which comes right out crosswalk area there I really don't know why oh okay let's disconnect it if we can okay well I reckon we will have oh. once these aircraft leave then we'll be able to take care of that issue of connecting them and making sure these are no longer used for general aviation but for actually our commercial flights wow a bunch of these could be repaired too that is not good <laughs> especially some of these down here i'm sure they're quite old i'm sure the runway of 81 percent let's go ahead and repair okay so this first one we will do airlines only 
security checkpoint. Not connected. It, it definitely should be. Oh, here we go. I know what we need to do. Our secure zone. We actually need to bring it out. And that should take care of that. Departure runway, arrival runway. Oh, look at that. Fully handled the not airworthy one. So we can actually click up here onto our runway. And we will now allow for commercial flights. Which takes care of all of our needs here. And now we just need this plane to now leave. Unfortunately. And then we can make it a commercial, uh, commercial stand. And I still don't understand why this one's deactivated and we're not operating. I guess we will hopefully find out here as soon as this plane leaves us. Any second now. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Will he say when he's going to take off? 11.29 a.m. So, slowly but surely we can see down here. Another maybe 30 minutes now. There he goes. Okay, so we'll pause it. We'll commercial flights only. Everything else should work out. We'll go ahead and repair. Go ahead and repair. Let's see. Hmm. Now then. Current stand is closed and no flights are being handled before clearing the stand connection. See, this stand is activated and can board. I don't understand why it says small. Desk 2 is deactivated. Let's maybe... Hmm. Now then. I wonder, let's see if we can clear. Do we want to upgrade it? No. Can we open the stand. I am quite confused as to what is happening here. Regardless, we do have that taken care of, sort of. But I tell you what we will do. We will go ahead and jump right in here. Havana, Maple Express, Goose Wings, Jumper, some of these airlines. So the good news is there's no real difference. They just have different planes, different medium planes. They're all 2,500 a flight. Medium flights are all 6,000. And I will say, I don't know if it does make a difference, but we're going to go with Forest Air here. It is two stars. I know there are three, but Forest Air has three different planes. So I don't know if that means there might be more flights, but that's, that's the thinking we're going to go with at least for right now. And we'll see how it goes. So now that we've accepted them, we can actually wait till they, well, look at that. They've already offered up some flights that we can schedule. So it is today's Sunday. Let's go to Monday. And let's see, our small stand that is currently working is 9. So we will schedule everything for 9, which is our bottom one here. We do it starting on Monday. Our first flight lands at 5 a.m. Our second flight will leave at 9 a.m. And our third flight will leave at 1. And that should be enough to start us off. We do have plenty of money. So we can go ahead and look at our staff. We are going to need, let's go ahead and hire a great janitor. Passenger service agents who are kind of our check-in agents. We definitely want them to be good. We want the best of the best. Really good. Not as good as the other person asking for more money. So I think we're going to go with Eduardo here. Now that we have those two, let's go to our ramp agents. Which same thing, we'll go ahead and hire them both. Ooh, and maybe even a service technician. I don't know if we really need a service technician at the moment, quite honestly. So we're going to hold off on that. And with our passenger service, we'll go ahead and hire one more just so they can kind of rotate in and out with their brakes. I still don't understand why this is not working. So I tell you what, let's do, I wish I could, can I destroy it? Cannot demolish, activate the stand first. The stand connection. Hmm. 
<laughs> Must be closed. We're trying to close it. It won't let us. Huh. Press cleaning. Great. Clear the stand. Reconnect the stand. So maybe... Let's try this. We will demolish. Oh. Cannot demolish. Close stand first. Ah. So we'll destroy. We'll just try this all over again. In fact, I wonder if we could cancel that order. So we'll activate. Let's try this all over again. Make sure the current stand is closed and no flights are being handled. Okay. Boy, this is really giving us just a hard time, isn't it? We're still waiting. It looks like they schedule the flights throughout the week. So we are just going to wait. Okay, okay. Let's see what we can do here now. We will, in fact, throw in our stand right here. And make sure it's connected. It still is. And this guy, we want to reconnect. Make sure the current stand is closed and no flights are being handled. We have gotten my th ourselves in quite the pickle here with this thing, and I don't really know what we're going to do. <laughs> but that is all right. So here soon enough, we will have folks show up for their 5 a.m. flight. Everybody's trying to hang out in the staff room. What we want... Oh, there's already a flight coming over here. So we basically have to do the same thing when this... When these two planes leave, I'll just close these stands and reconnect, and we will get this taken care of. Because I don't know why it is deactivated. It has access. Maybe it's against the wall. Maybe that was the issue. Tisk tisk tisk. Wish we could. We can't. Put everything in motion. <laughs> As we are now waiting and waiting and waiting. So I wonder if we could throw down. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Seating. We go, we throw down. A couple chairs for some of the staff not working to relax in. This is a pretty small staff room, so we definitely need to maybe upgrade this in size. Now then, as soon as these flights leave us, or these general aviation planes leave us, we will be back in business. Almost got our emergency response units done. Dang it, I know I'm running long. This is quite a long video, but I think it's important. Because we see I'd love to finish with these two planes leaving and our first flight coming in. Medium aircraft, remote stand. Let's do the remote stand. Get everybody working on it. And now then with our vehicles, we can actually purchase now police car, an ambulance, and a fire truck. Not too terribly expensive. Any security emergencies, ambulance I think we'll have to we'll think about that one we're definitely gonna have to think about that one. Oh, and here goes this one we'll make sure that is commercial only now then I just need this one commercial only as well I can just reconnect here I still don't know why it's deactivated Morning desk is not connected to an airside shuttle. We know that. I don't understand why our boarding desk is still deactivated like it is. What if we closed it? What if we could then destroy it? There we go. Demolished. Oh, oh my goodness. I almost didn't show us 
the folks coming in. We've got some passengers here who have clearly checked in and are waiting for their flight. And now the funny thing is they are just standing around because they, unfortunately, have nowhere to sit. So we'll add chairs there. We'll add chairs here and here. And maybe we'll even add some chairs right here. Just so that everybody has plenty of places to sit. Now then, let's go ahead and see if we've solved our problem. The small boarding desk. Which I'm sure we have. We'll put it this way this time. Just in case. And here comes our first flight carrying passengers. We can't see. It is quite bigger than our general aviation flights. Making plenty of money. And we'll see now. Magic happened. So people are sitting down. Next flight doesn't come in until 9. It's only 5 in the morning. Speed things up. We see all the patients pay as they get off. They should come right out. And they should then find themselves going through the security checkpoint. Out the door. Maybe we could even make that a large door. And they'll come right over here. And wait for the bus or their car to come and pick them up. stand there so that stand connected and works no problem mobile boarding desk 2 just clearly does not want to work for us this is just quite the issue unfortunately <laughs> but regardless let's speed this up and we will actually I'll let everybody we'll go through the process of everybody coming in checking in sitting down and boarding their flight and hopefully I will get this situation all figured out by the time we come back So here we are still waiting. And of course, we could accept some more contracts and even connect a few of these stands. Maybe we get a bus that can come out and go. So slowly but surely, we will have this all figured out and we'll be making a bunch of money. Not like we're not making enough already, but still. And here we go. Looks like they have started the boarding process. I think that's what I saw. Or maybe these folks have already come through for their 9 a.m. flight. That's going to be my guess. That is absolutely my guess. So I apologize we did not get to see that. <laughs> Man, I have been all over the place in this one. Let's see. We can't offer anything for flight stand 7, or can we? So real quick, let's just figure this out. Oh, we need to go get our sidewalk. And of course, expand the security zone through the door right to where they need to go. Yeah, this, this is going to be an interesting one, this whole boarding desk situation. Hopefully, it's just a simple mistake that I'm making, which I think it was. Is it the security zone? Because the security zone wasn't out there. There is no telling now at this rate. We are going to need some more of that sidewalk, it looks like, huh? Hmm. Now I know that folks can clearly come out can make it over here oh here we go finally some folks as we can see coming in and they checked in and then they come through our security and they're able to find a seat while they wait to come and board so guys thanks so much for tuning in again rubber biscuit I know it was quite a mess there especially in the beginning but we're definitely making money we've definitely got the setup now and we're really going to start making a lot of money here pretty soon. So thanks for tuning in to our airport CEO as we are slowly but surely growing this airport. All right, guys. Rubber Biscuit, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one.